Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on learning how we can lock down certain parts of our Django website. There will also be documentation provided also on performing other actions as well. So to do so, okay, the first thing you want to do is just have a simple Django project up and running. Now as you can see if I were to turn my server on, I have a very simple application here so that you can uh, learn a lot better so i just have a simple home page and i also have a dashboard page here as well so i have just two simple pages so two views you could say so to help us to achieve this goal to lock down views for our django application what we can do is use this django lockdown package and as you can see you have the opportunity to lock down your entire django site or individual views so you have that opportunity you can also add in password protection as well for the for those views that you've locked so if you don't know the password, you won't be able to view um, that view, if you get what I mean, or to view that page to be a bit more clear. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of information here on what you can do. There are a lot of things that you can modify and customize in terms of setting in various arguments, such as lockdown until, lockdown after, lockdown logout key, lockdown session key, URL exemptions, extra content, remote address exemptions. So you can see there's a lot of things that you can add into place. So I'm just going to show you some of the basics so you can get up and running. So first of all, we want to install the Django lockdown package. So you can go ahead and install it in your virtual environment. So pip install Django lockdown. There we go. Perfect. So once you've got it installed, we want to add the lockdown package to our Django project. So here we can see in step one, we can add lockdown to our installed apps. So I'm just going to copy lockdown head on over to my settings.py file and just under installed apps I'm just going to add that into place so there is lockdown now one thing I do prefer is to add in my own quotes here because sometimes what can happen is the quotes can um, be seen by Django in a very odd light it sometimes doesn't work so just make sure you put in your own quotes again okay once you've got that in we just want to make sure we don't need to make any migrations because sometimes the docs aren't very clear on this so let's just say python manage.py make migrations and then you can just say python manage.py migrate just to make sure we don't have anything that we need to migrate. Okay, we're good. Perfect. So we've got that set. Now, what I want to teach you is how you can go ahead and utilize Django Lockdown to lock down an individual view. So as you can see, I have my home page and let's say I want to lock this page down. So to do so, we can just scroll down here on the package. Okay, and here we have the option to use a decorator. So this is going to be done on the views.py file. So you can navigate to your views.py file. So I have a views.py file here. And here at the top, what you want to do is you want to import the following decorator here. So from lockdown.decorators import lockdown, you want to copy that and you want to add it to your views.py file like so. Next thing that you want to do is you want to apply the decorator to individual views that you want to protect. So as you can see, I have two views here on my home page and my dashboard page, which you've seen. And I just want to add this decorator, which is at lockdown with empty parentheses. And I'm just going to put it on the home page, for example. And then what we can do is run the server. Okay, let me just do it properly. So python manage.py run server. Okay, there we go. And then let's refresh. It says coming soon, this is not yet available to the public. Now, if I were to remove that decorator and refresh again, there we go, works fine. So that is something very useful that you can add into place to lock down certain views that you're still busy with or functioning. Very helpful if you're, if you're working on a website and you're doing some maintenance. So it's a very uh, helpful use case for that. Now, of course, as you can see, the dashboard page is still fine because we haven't added that decorator to it. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, it's an empty, uh, the parentheses is empty. What can I add in here? So as you can see, you can add in various arguments to your decorator. So within the parentheses, so we have these options here. So lock down and chill off to date, lock down, log out key. So I'd really recommend you go ahead and read more about this in the docs and, you know, just you know, get creative, put in your own ideas and really go from there. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to show you is uh, in terms of the password protection part. So let me remove this decorator for the moment. 
and let's just see it as normal okay and there we go what we can do is we can keep our views open and we want to go back to our settings.py file and i'm just going to put this i'm just going to put some space just below installed apps and middleware so you can make this space anywhere on the settings.py file page it doesn't matter and if we head onto the docs here we can clearly see that we have an opportunity if we scroll down to add in a lockdown password here okay so we can add one or more plain text passwords so you can add in multiple passwords okay which is going to be set to your protected site so as we can see here okay on our site we've got nothing set but what we can do is we can add in that option for these passwords so i'm going to copy that paste it in settings.py and we have two passwords here let me in and beta so what you can do essentially is go to your home page and then you want to add in the lockdown um, decorator here refresh and as you can see now in order to preview the web page now you need to put in a password so we have two passwords here in settings.py by default so i'm going to put let me in preview and there we go it allows us to see the web page here so we have this set and in place now you also have the opportunity to add multiple passwords so here we have a second password as well now you're probably wondering okay this is sensitive data how would i go ahead securing this because this is a password now of course i also have lots of videos on configuring environment variables okay on the channel so that is what you would need to do here so it's the same situation as any sensitive piece of api data in terms of api secrets so you would need to use your environment variables and you can store your passwords as environment variables to ensure that it's safe and of course before you deploy to github etc so that is what you would want to do here to to ensure that your lockdown passwords are safe and secure so you don't have any issues with anything like that now of course as you can see there is obviously a timeout here or some session that's being utilized because as you can see it still doesn't um prevent it doesn't prevent us from viewing the page we can still see it so what you would have to do is you're going to have to look at all the options that are given to you so you can add in some obviously a few exceptions and add in some uh, cool out time so we can see here lock down until lock down after so there's a lot of things you can experiment with and i really encourage you to take a look we can also set templates so we can override that template that we saw by default and put in our own sort of coming soon page you could say so that's something else that you can really look into that i really recommend that you um, have a look at okay but that's it guys that's how you can utilize the django lockdown package to go ahead and lock down your django site or your individual views okay so that's it and of course thank you for the support as always and see you next time